Aisha Shawdat here, water scientist with the SSEA, and I'm going to show you briefly just how to do a flow velocity measurement for the Citizen Science StreamWatch program. So first what you're going to want to do is find a section of stream that is as straight as you can get, um, roughly sort of a, a 25 foot or 8 meter section of, of stream or river that, that doesn't have too many curves bends to it. Um, also want to look for a section that doesn't have a lot of log jams and rocks and things for your float to get hung up on. So the next thing you're going to want to do is take two stakes. So I've got just a big nail here tied off with some flagging tape and I'm going to use that as my first stake. And then take a measuring tape, um, ruler if you have it, whatever is kind of easiest for you, and measure out your distance. So try and get that as accurate as possible. So here we've got uh, eight meters down to my next stake uh, downstream. And so next you want to uh, collect a little bundle of uh, a few different sticks, uh, things that are heavy enough that you can toss it easily. Um, but obviously uh, that's also going to float. So pine cones can work really well as well. So I have my little pile of sticks here. And then what we're going to do basically is toss the sticks upstream of the first measuring point and then time it as it goes downstream to the next measuring point. And we're going to do that three times and take an average of those three. So I've got a stopwatch here. Uh, you can use a smartphone as well. Whatever timing device is easiest. And got some uh, paper and pencil to take my notes. So we'll get started. So I'm going to toss it up upstream enough that gives me time to get my, uh, my timing uh, stopwatch going. Try and get it around this tree here. Okay, so as this stick comes down to my measuring point, start my timer. And I'm just going to follow that down and stop it when it gets to the next stake. And ideally you would stand right in front of that marker so you know exactly when it gets there. But I will lose you in the camera, so I'll <laughs> just stand here. And there we go, it's about 20, 19 seconds. So I'm just going to do another toss here to show you. And when you, want, when you look at your stream site, um, you'll notice that water is moving at different velocities, sort of depending on where in the channel you are. So out in the middle of the channel is where it tends to move the fastest, if it's kind of a straight shot of, uh, of stream. And along the sides, it's moving a little more slowly. So that's why when we toss the, our sticks in, um, you want to get it as close to the middle of the channel as you can. So it may take a few tries, um, depending on how wide the, the stream is. And so that's why you want to have a, a good collection of sticks to, um, to keep going as you need to. So we'll just try to get into the middle again. There we go. And then I'm going to repeat that two more times and take an average of those values. And that will give us flow velocity. Um, so this is what we call the float method uh, to calculate inflow velocity and just gives you a sense of uh, how, how fast the stream is moving and then if you can also safely get into the middle of the stream and take a depth measurement as well then that will give you another indication of, uh, of how much water is going through. So just a couple of other things to point out in terms of safety. So when you're looking at your, uh, your stream site, if it looks like the water is going to be more than a meter depth uh, then it's not safe to go in. And if it is a meter depth, but it feels like it's very slow moving, you don't feel any force against your body um, and you feel comfortable going that deep, uh, then that's okay. But if the water is moving very quickly, it might be less than a meter depth um, and you feel that pressure against your body and feel like it, it could um, push you over and make you lose your balance, uh, then it's not safe to go in at that point. And we would just do measurements, um, the velocity measurements from the side and don't worry about the, the channel depth.